Hi guys, my new uh, kind of as much back to basics as I can do um, bushcraft kit. Right, first of all, mate, this little bag here, and I've got a new baseball cap as well. Right, this has been uh, covered in wax, um, citronella wax as well, so it smells nice. I've got some of these little tea lights. And these are citronella ones. Um, and I'm thinking if I rub the citronella wax on the baseball cap and then uh, we'll heat it up with the uh, hairdryer, then that'll all mould in. We'll have a wax cap with citronella, should keep the bugs away. Seems to work. And so is this. And in here, I'll just undo this string, is my canvas tarp with uh, the tie up points on it. It's from an old uh, canvas tent. So you've got that's like one of the front corner. Um, flaps at the front there and that's the flap from the other side and then there's a long strip down there now I've uh, hemmed it and then I've put little tie outs on each corner like that I've only done four tie outs at the moment but anyway these seams here because they're only um, one thickness just one edge rolled over one edge rolled over and then sewn so it's just two layers um, are going to be a bit leaky and they've burst through in a couple of places. Um, so I'm going to run a bead of silicon down them and then smooth that off and then waterproof the rest of it. I've just got to pick all these little bits of cotton out first and uh, I'll have a stab at it. So I should be able to get a fire near to it. Um, in this little bag that uh, Stony Broke gave me, this is kind of uh, most of the stuff that goes sort of straight on my belt, and some of it doesn't. But it's pretty much my sharps in here. So I've got a little waxed pouch there, which has got. Me big fire steel. Let's turn the lens around so I can see what I'm bloody doing. Me big fire steel, um, so it's hard to lose. And I've swapped the lanyard. I put the leather lanyard on this because that's going to be fairly hard to lose. And the Laplanders that are made of invisible, I've put an orange lanyard on that so I can find it if I put it down because you know what they're like. So they live in the little wax pouch I made and done some stitching on the back. Um, Nora, um, my little bushcraft whacking knife, pretty much, uh, that'll stay on me. What's we got in here? Where's that in here? Um, a little carving Mora 
He's brilliant. And a Ben Orford spoon carver. That's everything in that. Right, so in the main bag, I've got the uh, Outdoor Life of Brian, um, all things are wild and free, leather patch sewn on. And I've sewn it on. That was a little mission to do. Right, so inside this pack, this should be enough for me for a weekend. Right, so I've got um, my coffee cup. Um, I know they're bulky, but they keep, when you do a double drink thing, um, and it keeps it a lot hotter. There's coffees stored inside there. And some meths. Right, this is a um, military modular sleep system Gore-Tex bivy bag. All squished into there. Medical kit, that's what I went through on my last video. Um, one thing I'm going to do is put my blood type on that while I think of it. There you go. Um, little Grand, Grand Falls Burks um, forest axe, carving axe. Little baby one. Quite like that. Um, well, this is the um, military sleep system patrol pack. That squidges down nice in there and that will keep that dry. Before it goes into the bivy bag. We've got plate and uh, this is the little fold up bush box and a titanium like frying pan plate in there as well let's go around some pockets on the side KFS toothbrush some uh, hot glue gun sticks you can melt these down and uh, use them like you would pine resin, uh, saves trying to render down pine resin. A little bone spoon. Then, if you look there, this is where I made this pocket all in one, and then I doubled it up. I actually got two pockets there. You actually got yeah, like double pockets there. Toothpaste, thermal blanket. A little strop, DC4, um, sharpening stone, Leatherman multi tool, some tissues, empty a few patches. A transparent water bottle. I prefer the transparent ones. It's, it's nice to have a stainless steel one you can put on a fire, but transparent ones I find are better because you can see if it's contaminated. That's that sort. Right, then we've got sort of most of the cook kit in here. So this is a um, to stand a trangier on. More gubbins in there. the trangier sits in there like that and then they sit on top so you can boil a stove or whatever and we've got the uh, 14 centimetre zebra billy can and then another outdoor life of mine bag here with loads of stuff in another little spare trangier Vaseline, um, cooking fat, matches, lighter, mints, another ferro rod, more coffee, earplugs, more coffee, and some uh, of the expandable cloths for washing and using as tinder and stuff. Right, and then. 
right in the back of the bag here, I've got a cutting board, um, which is handy for game prep and just generally food prep. Um, a little grill, and um, this is to stick in the ground to put the uh, Zebra Billy can on. So you stick that into the ground. You've probably seen it before. Um, See so if you've got a campfire, you can pour your water nice and easily. Right, so inside this bag, look in the bottom there, what's in that? It's got a Poundland little ground tarp in the bottom. Now you've got a bit of uh, plywood at the back, and this actually pulled out. And on the back of it, there's some uh, foam. So you put that on the floor, and then you've got a kneeling pad. Or a seat if the, if the ground's wet. And then uh, the actual bag itself. I had this strap laying around, and I've just sewn it onto the back of the bag there. So we've got nice sized back pockets, your pockets along the front, and just Velcro fixings. Another side pocket there, decent size, I didn't bother putting, and then inside here I've put elastic along the back, and elastic on the sides just to kind of hold everything in place, to keep it all sort of sucked in, if that makes sense.